Hello everyone and welcome back to Zamwolf plays Hand of Fate 2. Let's try the stars again. Oh yes, right, I got the the next one on the clan eyebright. So what did we learn? Curses. That's basically everything we learned. Special curses. Dispel curse. That's not the greatest thing I've ever heard. I don't know what is. Right. Uh, did we learn and get any other new ones? Glamber's Jewel, Pillager's Pride. Okay, so I don't need that. Take the Spike Bone, yeah. Wanderer's Bounty. Gold is added to a random encounter. That's really good. Okay, so. Special AoE Armor Breaking Blessings. Do I want these with this one? Draw a food gain card. Okay, I like that one actually. That's that's really good. I was thinking there's some new artifacts in here as well. Tiger's eye reduce the uh, double healing. Dark thirst is really good. Jousting armor. I still have no idea what to get. Extra food for every food and gold gain. Okay, so that's that's better. Now the encounters. Filter. Let's get as much cursed stuff as possible. Cursed. Cursed. Remove cursed. The healer. You're, you're the best guy in here. Blessed. I don't I don't want to get any more curses, to be honest. Purgatory is, is fine, okay. So, any new stuff. Cunning man. Can he dispel curses? Holy relic. Interception. Little devil. Add some gold. Fairy ring. Blessed. Trade food. Curse. I need as much food as possible for the fairy ring. And chance cards. You know what? Um, the, the other one, because we now know what this one does, and it's actually incredible. Remove curse. That's just exactly what you want. Do I want the Toshas? No, they were bad guys, right? Mage's Workshop? No, no, no. Tokens. I think on an easier one, yes, but not, not like this. Resources, food. There's very little that give me food without giving me... It hasn't cost me money. I need fame maybe as well. I can't use Elder's Gift on this one though. Fame. Duel is a fame. Fame and shame. Fame check. Spend gold. Fame check. Gain fame. Combat efficiently. Alright, I get to do as much damage as possible. Lose life, certainly not. Spend gold, gain fame, gain resources. So I like that. Wetland ambush, no. return, I like it. Fame check, that's a good one actually. Friendly innkeeper, I like the friendly innkeeper as well. I need to check wetland ambush, maybe gives me some fame. That one, if I fail it, it can curse me. Maybe that's too scary. Okay, let's go here. I was... what What did I... I just thought about something. Equipment, specific. Gives me a weapon. Weapon. Combat. Special. No. Gambits. Special. I just, I just thought of something that might be good, but... Whatever. Okay, so it's a bit better this way. I need the I need the equipment. Encounters that give me equipment. I need the spike bone because the, the, like the one curse I really that really screwed me was the one where you get a curse every step. It's just I'm sorry, that's not possible. Do I want another general store? Maybe get some gold so I can I can beat. Like I, I need I need get some gold so I can go to the shops and buy stuff. Equipment dice combat. Need to win the dice roll after combat to get that one the equipment over there. 
Fallen treasure, plus equipment, precision, lose life. Fraction equipment? I think that doesn't work. Dark alleys is terrible. Gain food, trade food, trade equipment. Trade equipment for... I take the trading house now. Let's see, what, what can I get rid of? The alchemist is a good way to get... If I get if I have the ring already, it's incredible. That's a gold gain card, a good one. That's a good anything card. Spend gold for food. I'll take the trading house now because we kn we saw two two of the uh, at least two of the general stores. So what's going to happen now is. I'll get the spike bone yeah before I get cursed with the get one get more curses every step curse. Here we take a step back and touch upon the mystery. How did things exactly. come to begin change? your journey? I know it's so for everyone who didn't watch the last video, we got we went very well. Basically there's stages. We start with this blessing, get ten food for every encounter. Yeah, if we reveal every encounter, sorry. And then at the beginning of each stage, there's an infernal card that curses us. And we need to find a portal, and then we don't get rid of the curse, though. Now, out of interest, what happens if I take the guy's place? So, am I just gonna die? Because, like, there, there's a uh, group of mages gazing at the dull copper. And now if I take the goblet away, that's the artifact I need to take, so I'll just do that. I'll not just take the other guy's place like consume two food instead of one while traversing the map that's that's doable and now I got a roll 18 that's not probably not possible you know what Colburn give me your die we beat the 18 because every every time we don't beat it, it, it goes two down, but we lose five max life. Let's go. Call me on this a bit. Gone. Soothsayer. I like it. I lose the four gold. So, gain 15 life. That's good. Gain 30 gold. That's incredible. Gain life. Lose three food. Lose all my food. Lose even more food. I'm going to lose all my food. Like all of it. Do I want to lose seven food? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go there. You quest Argos after a dust you discover the brigands have Gain max life, I like it. Gain 30 gold, that's a lot. Now gain life, I don't need that. They steal my food, they steal even more food, or I, I consume more food. And I lose more food. Perhaps you should visit a campfire? Perhaps I should, but I'm gonna... Oh, it actually ticks twice as well? Oh no, that's what I thought. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm so smart. Oh. Okay. Can I survive though? Also, why is there so much good stuff? Can I sell? Buy equipment. I'm gonna buy the spike boneyard now. Discard and ignore the first curse that you draw. That's not good though. I don't need it yet. I need it later. So I'll take the gambler's jewel. I could sell my weapon and then buy the other one. No. Leave. I, it takes Will 20 damage, that's last. the problem. Maybe I've, I might have screwed By this up. By the time our tale is told, he's probably already lost. A little devil with a broken horn slouches on the tree stump in a dark forest. While glum, he appears harmless, so you approach him with only a little caution. My father banished me from the underworld because he thinks I'm not evil enough. Apparently my curses are too weak size. Do you know any curses? Give him a curse. Yeah, you can have that one. His fi li face lights up when you give him your curse. That's one evil curse. Thank you, adventurer. Please take the small gift. Okay. That's a curse removal. Guys, it's incredible. 
That's actually a balance good. Oh, of resources right. is key. No one wants to perish wealthy but starving. I'm not gonna like they they try to take to take an equipment away unless I fight them. And then when I fight them I get something, but there's a a, a knight of steel card is gonna be shuffled in. Probably the hardest one of the Empire fraction. And Colgan charges in like a madman. Smack this guy so good. Oh, Colbjorn, you saved me! I mean, I was blocking, so I didn't really need your help, but I, I appreciate it very much. Colbjorn, charge in again! Yes! Nope, I'm gonna block that. That was close, I almost got hit there. And there I got hit. Colbjorn is basically down. I was bashing his armor. Stop, let me let me just kill this guy. Okay. Also what I'm gonna do now is drink the healing spirits and that didn't work. Colburn coming from behind, smacking him down. Dealer adds more empire monster cast, there we go, see, Knight of Steel. You check for anything of value, gain an equipment. Would you like to commit? No, because the next goal, the uh, next curse wasn't as bad, and the third one was incredibly horrible. So I take it. I'm not gonna equip it. I'm gonna equip it to dispel the the, the really bad curse. Band of thugs. Okay, I remember that. Yeah. Please give me the success. I need to follow it. There it is. That's a failure. One on one fight against the ogre. That's why I got smacked last time. Uh, the yoga deals a ridiculous amount of damage. I just need to survive, to be honest. Colbion, charge the ogre! Yes, thank you! Block, block, dodge roll, now he's stunned, I can smack him. No, I can't block. No, I can't block that. That I, that could block. Fifty-four damage. Okay. Block and another block and I'll dodge roll and then he should be not dead actually. Oh, but he was dead. I used my special when he was attacking with the blockable attack, so it didn't hit me. I think we did that fine. I mean, a mage pokes her head out from the tent and notices the dead body. All right, look, we don't have a time for this here. She throws a sack or something at you. Yes, give me an equipment card. Okay, so carnal blade is nice. What is this? Two life every combat against thieves or corrupted. And Grifter's companion. Let's take this one. It's incredible. Oh, she heals me up. Oh, how nice. And dry food. Okay. Don't follow us, the mage wears her arm. Okay, so I'm in good shape. There's the portal. Uh, continue exploring. I want to explore that. Oh, that's a good one. Everyone's happy to see me, and I can take one. I'll take the 45 gold, thank you very much. I can take one type of offering and get all of them. Okay. Winding trail. Get the 10 food. Suddenly a tree falls across your path, blocking the way ahead. Weapons bristle from the trees around you. They wield as faces obscured by the undergrowth. Seven of green. Oh, I'm not gonna give you 71 gold. No, no way. I want that. I want all the great equipment I can get. Okay, so we got... I, I can't remember what the second curse was, but it was very manageable. Oh right, that's 10, 10, 10 damage every step. Alright, oh, that 
that's it. Oh, the thieves with the counter attack. Melbourne, get in here! I hate it! I was doing a finisher and then some he, he got me with a quick attack. And then at the end of the last one, I'm gonna equip bike bone armor and it's gonna not give me the curse that curses me every step. The man they give you their spells. With the Cowards subdued, the thugs plead for their lives. Please, for pity's sake, we only want to feed our families. Let them go free. Give them 10 gold and let them go free. So I am above 50 fame now. It's gonna go so much better. The 15 fame is important because the Empire card where they want to steal one piece of equipment or I had to fight them, but there's a steel knight to the deck. They check for 15 fame. Uh, throw the goblet to the portal, get rid of the goblet. It's not gonna get rid of the curse, so it's good that I removed it with the little devil. I'm so happy that that's another curse remove card, actually. So, it is gonna be very doable. I'm almost healed up. I'm such a good shape right now. I'm prepared for the like that. I need just need to not screw up the next one. No, I want to finish him first and then use my special on the next one. Oh, like oh, I feel I feel so good and then I got hit a lot. Yeah, Colbion, get in there. Oh, we totally massacred that fool. Okay, he was also... So he was down and just stood up and then we immediately knocked him down again. Could have done better there. But we got the first one. This one is okay now. Because this one will only damage me every step. Yeah, when you just sacrifice something. Draw three gold paint cards. Oh no, that's 25. Please. Oh no, give, give me a small one. Okay, that's bad. Again, two fame. The dagger. And now the dagger's curse. Yep, life pain before every encounter. That's okay. She's really uncomfortable, the maid I just saved from sacrificing. Like, she was in on it and really enjoyed it. Some weird fetish of so so. That's what it feels like. Band of thugs again. Success. So clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? It's a trick of the light. Yes, it is. By the way, I'm, um, I'll upload Darkest Dungeon probably soon as well. It's a great game. Like, incredible. That's where the. the quote came from, in case you're wondering why I suddenly changed the topic to a completely different game. So now, we gotta, we gotta kill the mage. It's just completely rude to keep these damage over time traps on the field. There we go, damaged me already. Come on, there goes the mage, okay. Call me. Now we're in the one-on-one. -on -one. Call me, no way. Block, block again, dodge. He's got stuck, we attack him a few times. Now wait for the next attack. Oh, that's a... Okay, we did it. I was about to say, oh no, that's bad. Block, block, dodge. And he's Charge my special up, and next time he tries to do something, special him. And there, there goes the perfect fight. Block, block, dodge roll. Should be enough. No, there we go. Now it is enough. 
Oh boy. Got hit for 20 while being fancy. Some of fame. Second win in comfort. Boost life to 75 when life in. Oh, in combat, okay. Nice. And some more gold. I like it. And some HP back. So I gain 5 from food and then lose 10, so I lose 5. That's good. Buy equipment. Let's receive life from eating is double. That's really, really good. Can I sell equipment? Anything that I don't really need. Oh. No, I can't use it right now. I was thinking about using the healing, healing spirits on camp. And then... And then selling it for one. Because the empty healing spirit sells for one. But... Healing spirit still has three charges in there. So that's 30 life. Every... this The, the ring heals me for five life. Every step. Every food I eat. So there's like... And after six steps, it's gonna be better than, than the healing spirit. So I will take the ring. Uh, buy equipment. Give me the chef's charm for double heal. Now, now this negates the damage of the curse because now I gain ten for every food and then I lose ten. So I'm gonna be at sixty nine always Do forever. You know, in all my years, I have never set to see. The land seems safer, if you ask me. Yeah, and also you can't play the card game and see if the, there's wind and waves. After several hours of competitive drinking, an old cartographer has become your best friend. Come sail with me, he slurs. I know secrets, we just need the deckhand or three. How many of you are there anyways? When you sober up, you decide to investigate his tale of a mysterious island that rises from the depths of the sea every seven years. We'll need a ship. Here's some gold. See what you can find. It seems, it seems you've been recruited by an aspiring captain with no crew. You gain 20 gold. As you approach the group of seafarers unloading their ship, the captain's face is creased and weathered from too many years. Offer them the cartographer's gold. You convince them to set sail immediately. After a long voyage, you spy land on the horizon. Um, get me the success. And there it is. I actually did it. And I got the Grifter's Companion, so no cancel. I'll take the success. Thank you very much. You drop anchor and wait to shore. The island is paradise. Vast groves of tropical fruits ripen in the sun, filling the air with inviting fragrances. In the distance you spy a mist-shrouded mountain. The cartographer documents everything he can find. The sailors follow along, searching for any hint of gold. On the third day, a wide-eyed Deckard points to the summit and shouts, There's a glass castle up there, boys. I've seen it with my one good eye whipped into a frenzy the sailors ascend the mountain a wondrous castle of glass has been built into the side of the mountain the sailors push past seemingly unimpressed if there were ever occupants they are long gone now the sailors strip the walls of finery and loot the silverware this trip is finally starting to pay off says the quartermaster what gives you the right to take what doesn't belong to you says the exasperated cartographer I suggest you help load the ship if you want to sail back in it says the captain waving his sword. The cartographer grumbles all the way down as you help all the takings. As you sail away from the island, it sinks once more below the waves, taking its mystery with it. Back on the mainland, the quartermaster divvies up the loot. Here's your lot, he says, throwing you and the cartographer a bag of glittering gems. For paying the sailors at the beginning, you receive more treasure. Nice. Okay. Okay, that's 13. Okay. That's 28. So I got... Oh! Yes, please. I need to. I need to kill lots of corrupted with that weapon, and then I get a token. Yes. Gain life, lose life. Revenge. Ooh. A motive I support wholeheartedly. Indeed. The pitiful emptiness of Clan Eyebright becomes even more apparent when you walk through this bustling northern village. Children run past, laughing, and you can smell the warmth of bubble, bubbling honey. Your companion ignores all of this, his usual forlorn blank expression replaced with fury. He soon finds what he is looking for, a warrior larger than even the Hawking Colbion, clad in armor of blue crystal. Tyrant of Frost, infernal enemy, Rockvier, Colbion roars. The scout turns around, eyebrows raised. 
I've come to seek revenge for Clan Eyebright. You burned us to the ground. Not even the children were spared. A few Crowfoot villagers cover their mouth in horror, but most look on unsurprised by this revelation. The skull of Clan Crowfoot grimaces. Clan Eyebright stood against the orders of the High Priestess. Corbion draws his weapon. We will not join in the bloodbath. The High Priestess wishes doom upon all our people. Rockwood drives his sword to the ground. Godless! The High Priestess has, saw, has shown us the way and it is true and good to cleanse the lands of the crawling empire insects. Ooh. As a crawling empire insect, I'm kind of offended. Ah, just joking. What northerner are you? If you have nothing to fight for other than what uh, your own sniveling life, the skull thunders. I remember you, worm. When you were asked to lie on my sword to save your village, you hesitated. He steps closer, grinning menacingly. It was you who murdered your clan, not I. Colburn throws one of his mighty swords at Rockwear. Quick as a whip, he dodges it and flings it at Bolas in return. The cords bind Colbyn's neck and arms and he topples back onto the waiting band of northern warriors. You feel an explosion of pain at the base of your skull and your world goes black. You rouse from your stupor, tied to a tree. The rope bites painfully into your wrists. With bleary eyes, you see Rockwear towering over you. Colbyn is being restrained by a good number of northerners nearby. Colbyn looks at you, pure fear in his eyes. The skull draws a throwing dagger from his belt with a flick of wrist, sends it spinning through the air towards you. You tuck at your bindings, but made no progress. Oh, he's making it so suspenseful! Stop! Colbyn hesitates for a moment before closing his eye and leaping into the path of the blade. The steel blade finds no resistance as it buries itself hilt deep in Colbyn's chest. No! Your mighty companion slumps to his knees, blood bubbling from his mouth. He falls face first onto the cold ground and you know that that instant that Colbyn is dead. What the frick? I was about to say fuck, I don't know if it's allowed or not. Probably not. <laughs> but I will refrain from doing so. So Colbyn is dead and there's an army of Northerners together with this asshole and I don't even have good weapons. The leader of Clan Crowfoot, Skull does not even among tyrants for his brutality and blood brutality and bloodlust. Tyrants favor regenerative ice armor, yeah I know that one. Okay, this feels unfair. If I had oh no. If I had a If I had Like my sword shield, I would say easy. There's not even a shaman here. I could have I could easily kill this, these guys. But this will take forever. I'm not gonna lie, this will take forever. And it's with a two-handed weapon. Why? Just stop. Dodged his undodgeable attack by just using my special at that point. Polar guy, you get away. No. Oh my god. I am dying. Please no, this is like I have won the stars. And now this. What? Please faster. Okay, thank you. Oh, the cur the, 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 the blessing! It saved me when I got low life. Oh my god, that's incredible. Stop with the bowlers already! This guy off. Okay. Yeah, I can hear you roar. I'm gonna avenge you soon enough. First, I'm gonna slaughter your whole army, and then I'm gonna slaughter you. Oh my god, I would have been dead by now. By the way. How did that hit me? I dodged. No, get away. I hate everything about this fight. Wait, what a sec. Wait a second. Was, was there a timer? If there was a timer, I'm gonna be incredibly mad. Before you can land another blow, you notice the shaman of the eyebrow wield crouched at, in the hills above, shaking her head at you and pointing to Colbion's dead body. Knowing little of your old ways yourself, you trust in the shaman to lower your weapon 
Stating it will leave with Colburn's body, the warriors of Clan Crawford consider their casualties and decide to grant yourself passage. As you drag the body into the forest, the shaman meets you. Their blood is not yours to spill. In the dark, the horns and trinkets adoring her first lend, lead, lend her a demonic appearance. Ask what to do now. What? A moment of silence for a fallen warrior. He was our fine ally. Colbion's sword. I don't... No. The shaman draws one of Colbion's swords from his sheath and hands it to you. She gives you a blank toothed smile. He is in there. His breath is trapped in it as I spelled it. How to save him. Blood! The shaman flexes his hand excitedly. The north deals with blood and honor. That is all she will say on the matter. Leave the body. It is but a husk now and it may appease what the spirits are, what spirits are watching this night. You insist on burying you this body first, despite the shaman's protest. How will the birds eat him, she asks. With a heavy heart, you, re you vertically place the swords in your pack and bid the shaman farewell. You'll leave Colby and rest in peace, and at least for now. And an ally is lost. Flesh is mortal and transient. Our I, mission is not. I'm really sad, to be honest. Trade. Buy food. No way. I can I can spare some. Uh, do I get 10 now? Nice, okay. I'm just gonna heal up about 50 life. Yeah, I'm still above 50 life. The commander, scrut commander scrutinizes your face. Why are you the mercenary who saved Westwind? The soldier is suitably blessed. The commander bows and allows you to continue on your way. Thank you very much, commander. So, Colbjorn is dead. Trading house, trade equipment for food. Let's get rid of the chieftain's axe. Yes, because I got the one I'm using right now. Lucky for you, a butcher just came past with a fresh slot of sheep. I hope you have a good appetite. Three food, thank you very much. Fifteen food! That's incredible! I ate food for a random equipment. What do you think of this? Draw one food gain card over any combat. Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I'm gonna camp. Cook food. Cook food. It's gonna heal for 10 every time. Cook food. How close am I gonna? I'm gonna go to 92. Break camp. So there's still room for something, but... I'm not gonna die fast. Okay, band of thugs. Okay, this time I'm gonna hit the success. No, I'm not. I completely lost it, to be honest. I like, just completely lost it. Okay, so Colbion is gone. I kinda hate that. I'm not gonna lie. The card I get, by the way, is probably Colbion's sword, the one I have equipped right now. No, 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 what? I'm not gonna gain food. Lock, lock, dodge. Hit him a few times. Six, seven. Oh, I wanted to do the special uh, uh, attack. Oh, I can't dodge this one. Please stop. Stop! Just stop it. Okay, I can't do that. That. And then not this one, because it's a straightforward attack. Too tanky. Okay, this time it worked. Block. Mm, too late to block. That's... Why would that even happen? Block. Block. Dodge roll. Okay, I swear to God. Oh my god, I thought I was dead. Block, block, dodge. I'm on two life, guys! Help! Help! Okay, so... I will heal up, because I still got the blessing that I can... I, I will eat all my food, except for one. She throws a sack out there. Okay, 10 max life, so I'm not... 
immediately dead. Heal up again. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm gonna camp because I got the blessing of the mayor whenever I completely check the whole map. I reveal the whole map, I gain 10 food, so I can eat up all the food. That was way too close. I'm on 92, back again. Yeah, let's break it. There we go. Vegas curse, come on. Major's blessing. Yes! Okay, seal the portal. Oh no, this is like... There was a very, very hard fight at the end with the spire where I died. I could have really used Colby on there. This is sad. As I could have used it now. And I don't like two ended weapons. I much prefer sword and shield in this game. Finish this guy off. Finish this guy off. This guy off. Finish him off, then use the special on the next one. And finish him off. At least I gain the I gain a lot of like this this weapon needs me to kill 50 corrupted. At least I can get to work with this one. This is a massacre. I know the third one is lying back there with a knockdown state. And there we go. I get food now as well because of my helmet. Okay, this is a roller coaster. The helmet's armor actually saved me against the ogre. It's incredible. I actually gained a full gain card at 7 food. I'm gonna camp now and then heal up some more because I got so much food. Oh right, and I need to equip. Oh my god, I almost forgot that. Inventory. Equip the spike bone yarn. Uh, break camp. I got it equipped now. Yes, okay. Because now I will get the curse that gives me more curses. Continue to watch. Need to roll a 15. I remember that. Get the two low rolls. I can't get higher than that. There you go. Now that's another 15. What? What? Oh no! No! You must harness your will and find the quiet stillness inside you. Oh my god, the last time went so much better. I shouldn't have to ambush them right there. Like the last time I got the 15, okay, I didn't lose the spike bone yet, because it said you lose one equipment. Um, by the way, the, why, why is there an ogre here? That's not nice. Why? The, an ogre almost killed me back there. Do you guys have any idea how annoying this shit is? Because the death mage has this. I can't dodge this way, I have to dodge around the swing. 
No! I want no don't I don't want to attack her. I want to attack her skeleton. Stupid. Okay, that should work. That's something. Block. Block. Dodge. Okay. Just think about it. Block? No. Dude, you just gotta block, block, dodge. Block. Block. That was so hard to see because of the camera angle. Block. Block. Dodge. Got him to half. Block. Block. Camera angle. Why? Now I can't go through this. Oh my god, look at how long this takes! Stupid death mage! Get the fuck out! Yeah, I mean get the freak out. She actually rests her skeleton. Is the skeletor? Get your scary ass out of here. Oh no. And now it is time to bash her again. Just glorious button mashing. Hit her with a special attack. Please, 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 please. Oh, okay. As I would say, if she on one hit away from death, like use her bubble bone shield armor thingy again, I would have been so mad. Okay, so the battle resolved, you turn to attention with the disc, take the disc, get the horrible curse, take the armor and it gets removed. Oh. Oh. I'm so happy, okay, that's bad. I'm not gonna touch the wheels. No, no sorry. Excellent. A wise decision. Okay. Continue on your journey. Yeah, I'm 84 life now, Empire Inquisitors. I got enough fame. Thank you very much. Yes. Some more Inquisitors. I got enough fame. Thank you very much. Completely useless. The healer. Ask about curse removal. Lose 8 fame to remove a curse. Okay, yes. You nod and the bar combusts. In a blaze of green and blue flame, the woman smiles with sweetly scented smoke wafts from the bowl. Buy food? That's pretty good. 3 food, that's 30 health. That's probably. Okay, so that's not worth it. Buy food. Three food for ten gold, that's 30 health. Another three food for ten gold, that's 30 health. Now buy information if I can. Pay five gold, I can share their tale. Yeah. That's the Empire Inquisitors, thank you. Leave. Now I got so much food, and I'm gonna get healed for ten every turn. And oh no, there's a general store. I wish I had some some gold left now. Ring of Concentration, Carnal Blade, The Favor. I guess I can't sell equipment. I need to see what, what I lost. Oh, my normal armor! That's the luckiest thing I've ever seen. Temple Prayers. I got six gold left! What is this? The prayer cannot starve to death, but I will starve to to 1 HP now. Beggar's Charm. Monk's Vitality. Gold Zealot. 15 life for every gold gain. 2 food for every dice gambit. I'll take the Beggar's Charm, thank you very much.
This one does nothing but heal me for 10 for the food. And I'm, I'm getting there because I'm going there because. Okay, there's the portal. Continue exploring. Okay, but I'm not cursed. Oh, you're wonderful. I remove curses if you like. You're pure as a mountain spring. There are no curses for me to take on. Fortune is still laughing. Okay, I like this card actually. Go ahead and seal the portal. The front door gives without much resistance. Nature has reclaimed what was once a luxuri luxurious residence. Floors buckled by tree roots, walls covered in green moss. The floorboards creak ominously beneath your feet. Ten steps from the cellar door, you pray the floor doesn't give out. Thirteen. Okay, that should be very doable. Back to the bones. I hope you have learned to be their master. I hope so as well. There we go. Close. Way too close for comfort, but... You are cautiously to the cellar door and proceed down the stairs. A hellish vortex fills the space below the manor. You feel the heat of the mage's disc through your satchel. Monsters claw their way. That's the... I hate it. It's fire of blight in a small space. And I don't even have Colgren to help me right there. Like the Spire of Blight is the most terrible thing because you have to attack it with Bash. It attacks you with a seeking root. There you go. See, it, it missed me and then it came around. And then when I try to kill it, it defends itself with With a, with a stupid AoE attack like the mages. Come on, press F. Oh my god, it hit me again. No, you're not gonna hit me, and then you're not gonna hit me there. Okay. I mean, if I can, if I manage to clear out all this riffraff, I think I can actually do the spire quite nicely. Manage. Clear the riffraff, let's go. Nope. And then it comes back now. One more riffraff cleared. Block. Hey, it says F up there. F to pay respect. Block that. Pay some respects. Press shift, dodge this. And then press F. And then kill him, and now it's just the spire of life. There we go. Destroyed the spire of life. Why do I still have the spiked armor, by the way? Does the spiked armor just make me immune against curses? No way. No way, right? That's 10 for the other one. Beggar's Charm, give me 20 goals, thank you very much. Oh, I got the Spike Boneyard still. I Bone Guard still. If I was weak, it was the weakness of pride. Time has shown that to be well founded, however. You walk along the seashore on a dark stormy night. A lone gull squawks overhead. Okay. Not a horrible curse. This is the last one. From here on out, I have no idea where to go. Uh, what to? What's gonna happen? I mean, I we're go probably gonna get cursed, and then we have to get find the portal. Drowned out by the crashing of the waves and rumble of the sky, a coven of mages chants something low and ominous. Dark clouds gather overhead as the mage, mage raises a scepter to the heavens. With crash, lightning strikes the scepter. The mage falls down dead. Okay. Enchanting increases in fervor as another mage steps up to the heft of the scepter skyward. As you approach, the mages move to make space for you. Ah, the mage holding the scepter greets you. Another believer seeking the scepter's light. Whatever he was going to say next is caught shot, cut short by the lightning and his subsequent death. Okay. Now I got the scepter. I don't like that. Lose four fame for, for every encounter. I'm okay with that. Another sky mage takes the scepter, but instead of raising it to the sky, he passes this cold metal into your hands. I'm... No. 
I'm not gonna lift the scepter and to the night sky. The two guys before me died. Why? Oh, that's bad. That's terrible. Why would I want to get hit by lightning? Close. That's 15 life, yes. That's another 15 life, okay. That's 20 life, okay. The ball of arcane fire, red as blood strikes in the back. You double over on pain, but force yourself to continue running. Run, run. You run and run, and after some time, the mages fall behind and lose you. Okay. Oh no, I lose fame. General Storm. Come on, buy equipment. Something good. That's a new one. After every counter with combat, draw a gold gain card. That's actually incredible. And the tiger. So I need two gold somewhere. Sell equipment. sell this one. Might be a bad idea, I'm gonna be completely honest. Because now I can buy the Bounty Hunter's helmet or the Imperial helmet. What does this one do again? Okay, all the Tiger's eye to, re to reduce the damage from pain cards. I Do I need the gold game? Oh, I'm gonna loot all my... I'm gonna lose all my equipment of the curse. I just realized. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna buy this one then. No, I, sorry, just that I have something left. And then I can still buy any of those. Reduced pain? Or some additional gold? I'll take the additional gold because... Radiant with potential gains. No, I don't want to say I want to leave. And then I want to camp. And then cook some food to gain up to not full life because I heal 10 for every step but one below full life maybe actually I got 30 food I like I can't get up to full life yeah band of thugs give me the success just one time there it is here it is still no I was I was not sure if it's one to the left Okay, it's a hulking ogre. These later stages, you gotta fight against ogres every single time, like always. Fight against the ogre, and then fight against another ogre, and then fight against the third ogre. This is the one you want, straight up. No! Oh my god, that's so scary. Block it, block it, and launch, and then hit it. And then I'm gonna use the special. Block, block, and then dodge. Smack him. Over. And then use the special. Block, block. Oh my god, can I actually do it every time? Five, six, seven. Special. Block, block, dodge. And I did it. Flawless victory against the ogre. Maybe this two-handed weapons are pr pretty good against the ogre. No, I'll take the tiger's eye, I guess. And three gold. Thank you very much. And four fame. Okay, so it negated the fame. Oh, and 20 gold after the combat! Oh my god, the bounty hunter is incredible! Oh, that's, that's the alchemist. I got the ring skill, yeah. What do I need? Red? Yellow? I don't know. Let's just take... Okay, we're gonna take red. No, I'm gonna take blue. Blue is fame. I want to negate the curse with as much fame as possible. So, stop it at blue. So I'm gonna stop it right here and then get to blue. No. Oh, yes!
Yep. That is remarkable indeed. Here we see yet another wheel, each different, yet each bearing the oh, that's similarities. Bad. That's bad. I was way too early. I think it's not gonna... Oh, it cursed me. No, nothing happened. Okay, so it wasn't the most terrible thing. Oh, there's now the portal. Good, close to good, the good. Close the portal. Slouching towards its birth. The portal churns as the others did, but the spells no corrupted minions. The major scepter trembles in anticipation until it flies from your hand and hustles into the portal. With great turbulence, the portal disappears, discharging all power. Tremors rock the barn, forcing you outside for safety. A distant summit erupts with energy, bathing the sky in red light. You doubt it, it, it's a coincidence. The summoning. Okay. Okay. I just lost my helm, I think. Here our paths cross for the first time. Did you know then that we would reach this moment now? Oh, that's why we were in Mirum. You follow the ominous beam of light up the foothills to a summit overlooking the countryside. Yet another portal stands surrounded by mages, necromancers and witches. This one is much, much larger than the others. Flame starts at the edge of the maelstrom. What? Two of Arcane, Shade and Sea of Arcane. I've ne never seen that one, I think. A group of levitating mages begin to cast an incantation. The kind of cacophony... Cacophony? Cacophony? Of the portal clashes with the roaring storm winds until all you can hear is a deep and powerful heartbeat. As they chant something unintelligible, a decrepit arm extends from the fire hood of the A robed figure, his face obscured by ragged hood, steps from the flaming portal to stand before the assembled mages. It rusts with a voice long unused. I have to return to reclaim my place at the table. A new era awaits. The mages and necromancers fall through their heads and knees in reverence. They fall into pious silence as he speaks again. For returning my object of power, you will be rewarded. He leans heavily upon his staff and waves an arm. Golden trinkets appear and clatter to the ground before him. The figure nods at his subjects and disappears in a burst of flame. Eventually, the mages realize they're not alone. No. No. Why do I have to fight against mages? Those are actually the hardest fight enemies. Not even joking. And there's... A shade? I don't know what a shade is. I've never fought against one of those. And there's a seer. That's the seer, right? Archmage. Their quest for power and knowledge will cost the seer of blood if it must. Mage suit projectiles? Yeah. No, no. Look at this! That's ridiculous! Stop! And the damage over time fields on that floor is just... I hate it. I hate it. And this one is stealing life of me. Stop! And then I can't hit him because he's standing in those fields! Stop with the life steal! That's bad, yeah. Yeah. No, I don't want to hit him. I want to hit him. Shade! Get out of here, okay. We got the shade. That's that's a good boss thing. Now I don't have to like the rest I can dodge. The shade was a problem because it just leeches life from me from whenever you are, I am. I can block it or dodge it. And they just stand inside these circles. And I can't hit it without taking damage. But if I don't hit it, I'll continuously take damage. Okay, Archmage. Yeah, I'm gonna smack you now. You're the last one. St 
up with all these. Okay. That didn't do much. To be honest. Okay. I was a bit panicky when all of them were still alive because I thought I might lose. I feel like there's like it's just I need more armor to not be damaged by those fields, I guess. So if I had more armor, maybe if I still had my helmet, it would only deal one damage instead of two. You search the bodies for anything of value, but cannot escape the question what that echoes in your mind. Who or what have you unleashed here today? It's the dealer. We are bound now. The final moments approach, and with each moment accelerate. Let's see. Black Cauldron. Wine of the Gods, Ordeal by Iron. Arcane Edge, Meteor Strike, Weave of the Protector. And then this is Colbion. For long Colbion to fulfill the Shaman's will, Colbion's sword. Oh. But we beat the stars on the second try. I don't know if this like... Was, is as hard as the other ones? Like there were a few quests. Strength was terrible where strength their strength St strength was really hard and there's another one where I failed a few times because I was stupid devil right 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 <laughs> I can't see it anywhere because Colvion is dead oh no okay so there's the moon and then those two I still need gold on and then the final one we're getting closer every episode guys every episode I hope you had as much fun as I had I actually enjoyed that challenge. It was a real roller coaster of emotions. I, I, I dropped 2 HP that one time against the ogre, and then the last fight, it, it was hard, like really hard. But we did it. I'm happy. I hope you are as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next episode.